Episode 2, Threats. The scene concludes with King Triton being upset that this cultural shift will not happen. Even he believes that it's about time that this interaction takes place. Then we get a scene change. Ariel embodies the sacred feminine and masculine colors. Her hair being red, her fin being blue. They join on the middle of her body where the bikini top is. Purple is royalty and enlightenment color. The rear of the boat has a menacing face. The rudder is in the shape of a blade, or the alpha symbol. We see a shark, or danger is always lurking around the corner. No environment is completely safe. Living anywhere has its drawbacks. Even in North America and Canada, we're not safe from the grizzly bear, and we still have to be careful. Mermaids are said to like shiny things. This seems to be a sterling silver fork that Ariel finds. It's also in the shape of a trident, a symbol of power. Note that the pipe is held like a horn, so possible reference to sound, like a sonar or underwater calls that they could make between each other. So I think it's possible that because sharks look for seals as their main source of food, and the mermaids swim like a seal, that there's a real consistent threat of sharks attacking mermaids. So I think that this representation is very accurate. Humans deal with sharks all the time, so I highly doubt that they'll discriminate, whether you're an aquatic humanoid or a land-based humanoid. Finally, ultimately, they're still animals with the consistent behavior patterns that can be outsmarted. And then this scene finally concludes with Ariel going to the surface, or entering a whole new world. The way that the sun reflects on the water looks like a portal. So she's literally going into a whole new world.